Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and today I'm standing inside a brand new DRV Nashville model. This thing is super cool. It's rated for full-time living, and I gotta say, if I was to pick an RV to live out of, this might be the one. Starting with this living room up here, it just so open thanks to the opposing slides. We have couches on either side of us, and these both pull out to become beds, which means we can sleep four people up here. At the end in our front cap, we have our entertainment center. Big flat screen TV, JBL soundbar that includes a subwoofer, a 47 inch fireplace down low. That thing's gonna kick out a lot of heat, which is gonna help offset your propane bills in the winter, which should be low too, given that this thing has insulation that is crazy. I'm talking about more than three inch thick sidewalls. If you get a chance to tour one of these in person, do me a favor and wrap your hands around that door frame and then compare that to other RVs on the market today. You'll find that these are quieter inside and they maintain their temperature a lot better as well. Now, that's not all in here. We have a couple of recliners at the end too, making it easy to seat up to eight people. So if you are grandma and grandpa on the go, this is an awesome unit for hosting family while just being comfortable on the road wherever your adventures may take you. Behind these recliners, we have storage in the form of cabinetry built in behind them that's accessible from both sides. There's cabinetry up high, and we have this beautiful transom that transitions us into the kitchen. The kitchen is full of all sorts of residential amenities. We have a huge insignia refrigerator that insignia oven that people seem to love so much these days. It's got the four burner stove and we talked about hosting the family. Well, that oven is big enough to roast a Thanksgiving turkey in. And again, big microwave up top, loads of storage all the way around with real wood cabinetry, soft clothes drawers. It just feels luxurious to the touch. Our sink is a dual basin, apron front, stainless steel sink with solid surface sink covers. I think that's something that we don't see that often and it really touches, it gives it just a, a touch of class making it look the same all the way around. Even our backsplash, real tile. There's something to be said for that. This even includes a dishwasher in the island. That means no more doing dishes by hand on your RV trip. Again, little things that just make this more residential, makes it feel like a home. Our dinette, currently the way it's set up, can seat two. It's got storage in the back in the form of cabinetry down low and up high, a cool little solid surface buffet. And at the flick of a little switch here, we can pull this out and add a leaf to it and we can seat four. It does come with two folding chairs that match the decor, so it's easy peasy as far as setting up for extra guests to dine with you. Now, speaking of extra guests, this does have a half bath here at the midpoint, which means that if you are hosting someone up in the front cap as a guest on one of those pull-out sofas, they don't have to go through the bedroom just to use the bathroom. Across from that, we have our washer dryer closet, which could also be just a giant storage closet if you chose not to use it as a washer dryer. Pushing into the bedroom, we find that we have a king bed. And because this is on the lower deck, and this is a full profile fifth wheel, 
there is tons of space in here. At six foot three, I definitely don't feel claustrophobic in this bedroom. And again, just mentioning that it's a full time unit, there is a ton of storage in here. What I mean by that is that we have a whole slide out that incorporates all of our cabinetry. So just closet space after closet space after closet space with chest of drawers down low and a nice big spot to set down things at the end of the day. Now they haven't skimped on little things like they've given us little spots to set up a CPAP. We've got plugs on the wall, USB ports, dimmer switches for the lights above the bed. Again, more cabinetry back here up top. One of the things I like that DRD does is they make all of their valances out of hardwood. That means that 10, 20 years down the road, that's still going to look good. It's not going to look like a dated piece of fabric that just harkens back to a lost time. Everything feels cohesive in here, and I like that a lot. The bathroom for the master is in the very back of the unit, and it is also quite nice. There's <laughs> it just goes back to that storage thing. Look at all of the cabinetry that wraps all the way around this thing. It's just loaded with it, left and right. They've built in lights into the mirror, lights up high, just to really give it an open vibe to it. It makes it easy to do makeup in the morning if you're one of the folks that happens to do that. And our shower here has a seat, glass enclosures, nice and tall so somebody very tall like myself doesn't have a problem showering even this guy is adjustable up and down left and right it's going to give me that space to shower the way i want to now before we jump outside and check out some of the features out there i do want to do what most of our users request us to on video and that's to close the slides up on this and see what's accessible now to do that, I want to show you the panel, which is right here by the door when we first step in. When we open up our cabinetry, we notice that we have physical switches and everything is right here. Let's get these slides closed and check that out. All right, now that our slides are in, we don't really have access to too terribly much. We can kind of get into half of our refrigerator here by removing the little lock and popping one door open, but that's really about it. Like we're not getting into the bathroom, we're not getting to the sink, we're certainly not getting to any of our storage there. We can, however, get up into this living room and just kind of rest for a second if we wanted to. We could sit down and have a seat, take a quick break. But outside of that, not much is accessible in here. This is, however, kind of a destination unit. It's something that you would set up. Again, we talked about it being full time. It's, this is almost like a snowbird unit. It's something that you're gonna go park and live somewhere for you know a week, two weeks, a month at a time. So. It's designed with, to be used with those slides out. It's not really a quick stop kind of RV. All that said, let's pop the slides back out and go outside and check out some of the stuff out there. One of the nice things about the Mobile Suites lineup is that on our exterior here, there are no vinyl graphics to peel and fade. This is full body paint, and there's a variety of options to choose from should you special order. Right here at the door, we have the Moride Step Above Stairs, which are great for getting in and out. They make a connection with the ground and just don't have that diving board effect that we see in the traditional RV stairs. Our baggage door for our pass-through storage has slam latches. It's insulated and is strut assisted, so it's super easy to use. And it opens up to this huge pass-through storage. One of the things that DRV does that I think is really neat is incorporate 
these sliding doors in our pass-through bay, which give technicians access to some of the components inside to diagnose any problems that may arise with ease. Let's push on back because there's a few things I want to talk about back this way. As we're heading there, I want you to notice that this does have six-point hydraulic level up. It can be controlled from the driver's side. We're on a three axle setup here in the Nashville and it has more ride independent suspension which makes it a super smooth ride going down the road. In the back we have areas that have been carved out of the skirting to create more exterior storage. Inside we can even see that triple stack 15 inch box tube frame that the DRV famously sits on. It creates a super stable platform. Again, more storage here, same deal. They're just carving it out wherever they can just to give you a little more space to keep your odds and ends. On all four corners, we have scare lights. Those can be activated inside the cab. They'll light up the perimeter of the RV for security purposes, or if you're just boondocking in a dark place and want to see around your camp of the evening. Here at the back, we notice that this is a molded rear cap. It's beautiful, it's large, it's painted, and it just fits with the overall theme of the mobile suites. Down low, we have a two inch receiver with actual seven pin trailer wiring. What that means is if you're in a state where you can legally do it, you could tandem tow. So you could have an RV behind your RV or in most people's cases, like a boat or a small utility trailer. On our, on our off door side, at the very rear, we have our electric crank for our power cord. So the power cord is fixed. It's a 50 amp service cord. You simply pull it out and plug in. But when you're ready to bring it back, there's a switch inside and it just rolls right on in. It helps, especially when a cord is frozen or stiff. Again, more storage just to the side of that as well as our tank pulls because our sewage out is right here below that extra storage bin. Pushing up on to the, towards the front, we notice that they give us a special little hatch here for the back side of that residential refrigerator. This is great for winterizing and draining out the lines for the water in the door and the ice maker, or just making a quick assessment about things. Our primary bay for all of our in, water in and controlling whether or not we're doing city or tank fill is right here. It even has a little outside shower hose attached to it so that we can hose things off after running the dump station. That brings us back to our pass through storage where I wanna point out that inside we have access to a touchscreen panel which can run our level up system very, very efficiently. It gives us a little more control than the panel on the side that we'll take a look at momentarily. And I also want to point out that we have another access door here that shows us our water manifold system. The water manifold system has 90 degree shutoff valves leading out to every faucet inside the house, which means if you ever did have a potential problem, you can quickly and easily shut it off at the source. It's pretty smart thinking from DRV's part. That means that accessing the problem later becomes easy for a technician. Our propane is on a nice sliding tray here. Comes right out with ease. We have nice large tanks there for keeping us out for long periods of time. We don't have to refill as often. And here, right by our hitch up area, we have more auto level control. So this is a much simpler control pad than the one that's inside, but for getting on and off the truck, it simplifies the process. It makes it a little easier for you. Underneath, we've got a couple of things going on. I'm gonna open this up and you'll see that we have our battery tray, as well as one of our inverters, access to battery shutoff, as well as all of our hydraulic pump stations and filling. Now this unit particularly is pre-wired and set up to house a generator. I think that's pretty neat. We can install one pretty simply in here. At the very front of the front cap, 
we have this nice big more ride pin box. What I like about this is that for the weight of a DRV, it really takes out a lot of the chucking or that kind of rocking against the truck that you feel whenever you go across bridges or intersections where there's chops in the road. This works on both the X and the Y axis, so it's gonna knock it out in both directions and really just deliver a super smooth ride. I think this DRV is something that, like I said in the beginning of the video, I personally would wanna live in this thing if I was choosing an RV to live out of. It's super spacious, super nice, it has all the amenities of home, and really just to get an idea of the grandeur of it, you should see it for yourself in person. Come on down to Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia and check it out. Subscribe to our content if you like this because we're always putting out new tours every week. And until next time, guys, Happy camping.